All right, welcome back. In this video, we want to find the current flowing through this circuit that has three branches with parallel resistors. So we're going to have a total current flowing like this out of the positive terminal of the battery. And then we're going to have three different currents, I1, I2, and I3, flowing through each of the branches. So the total current, let's call it I tote, is going to be equal to the sum of the three branch currents because basically everything that's flowing this way has to just get split into three ways out. Because if we look at the node here, we can shade it in in red. Um, everything that is flowing into the node, which is coming in this way, has to flow out. So we have one way in and three ways out. So everything in has to be equal to the sum of everything out. The same goes for the bottom here. We have all of the currents coming from the resistors and flowing back into the battery. So we just have three currents flowing in and one current flowing out. So this is I tote here as well. Now let's give some values to the resistors. Let's say that resistor one is three ohms. Let's say that resistor two is four ohms and resistor three is two ohms. So the expression for the total resistance is just equal to basically the inverse of the sum of the inverses. So we have one over R1 plus one over R2 plus 1 over R3, and that's all below 1. Or we take the inverse of that whole thing, and that is the expression for simple parallel resistors in a circuit like this. So we can fill out the values that we have. We have this is all over 1, and we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2. We can simplify these a little bit to make them have the same base. So we have 1 over 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths plus 6 twelfths. And then 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths plus 6 twelfths is 13 twelfths. So we have 1 over 13 twelfths. Let's make that bigger so we can see it. And the inverse of 13 twelfths is just equal to 12 thirteenths. So that is our total, and that is in units of ohms. It's around uh, 0.923 ohms, if you prefer decimal points. So let's draw this on a circuit for our equivalent resistance. So we just have the battery here, and we have one single requ equivalent resistor. So if our battery was 9 volts, then our equivalent resistor was 12 over 13 ohms. And when we're looking at this, this is still the same node above, and this is still the same node below. So all of the current that's flowing around this loop and through that equivalent resistor is I total. So we can write the expression for Ohm's law now. We have V is equal to IR. And if you want, you can add in the subscripts. So we have I tote and R tote. But basically, we can just rearrange for I, which is equal to V over R. So we have 9 volts divided by, this was um, 12 over 13 ohms. And that gives us a value of I tote of 117 over 12 amps. And we can simplify that to a little bit cleaner. So that is just equal to 9.75 amps. So that's the total current of the circuit that is basically coming out of the battery and going back into the battery. Now let's also calculate what we have for each of the individual currents through each of the resistors. And we can just apply Ohm's law to each of them independently. So I1 is going to be equal to V over R1 which is just equal to the voltage drop, which is the same anywhere in the circuit is nine volts because we're just going from this node to this node. So we have nine volts over three ohms, and that gives us three amps. When we look at I2, the current flowing through resistor two is just equal to V over R2, and this is equal to nine volts over four ohms. And 9 divided by 4 gives us 2.25 amps. And then the current going through resistor 3, which is I3, is just equal to V over R3. So we have 9 volts over 2 ohms. And 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 amps. 
And sure enough, if you add these up, 4.5 plus 2.25 plus 3, that's a total of 9.75 amps. And that's exactly what we had here for the total current is equal to the sum of the current of each of the branches.